Hi, my name is Niranjan and this is Champak PsyQ where we teach you really simple science experiments that you can try at home. And today's science experiment is going to be a little bit of magic. You see how this stuff is moving automatically? Well, it's actually not magic, it's a magnet. So close enough, right? What this is, is iron filings. This is iron filings and where did I find it? I found it at in my garden. What do you need to, to actually understand and play with, with magnetism and magnets today? All you need is a sheet of paper and a magnet. I've stolen this once again from the gents bathroom. Really, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm going to get thrown out for this. But if you have a magnet and you have access to some empty ground, say your garden or even the school, uh, even the playground at your school, you can harvest this stuff very easily. All you need is to wrap your magnet with a piece of paper and just nicely, just, just gently run this over the ground. And any, any metallic particles, any particles made of iron will just jump right up and hang on to this. The really cool thing about magnets is that they have two poles. They have a north pole and a south pole. And you can tell which is which by taking your magnet, placing it under your iron filings. And you can see in, in the direction in which these things, these things stand up. So if I were to, for example, lay this down like this and my north pole was on this side and my south pole on, was, on, was on that side, my, my, my magnetic field, which is generated by the magnet, would travel in this direction, sort of shaped like an apple. I've made something really cool. I reached into my kitchen and I took a sieve and I rather shabbily covered it with a little bit of butter paper. So when I take my magnet, put it inside the sieve and I take it nice and close to the iron, you'll realize the stuff just jumps up and hangs on. Flip it over, it's still gonna stay the same and check this out. And I can make this go wherever I want it to. So if you, want, if you actually want to pick this stuff up off the ground or if you want to collect your collection back together, what you do is you, re, is you grab a piece of card, place your magnet on one side. If you take it nice and close to it, everything will jump right up and attach to the magnet. Now this is the best way to handle this stuff because taking it off this magnet is, gonna, is going to require another magnet which is more powerful than this and let's face it, who's got the time for such trouble? Flip it over and have infinite amounts of fun. How cool is that? This brings us to a really important question. What is magnetism? Why are certain things attracted to magnets? Why are certain things not? So the reason why this stuff behaves in this really cool fashion is because of something magnets generate. It's called a magnetic field and it runs from one pole to another and if you imagine it's sort of shaped like that, kind of like an apple. North pole, south pole, flows around that direction, weakens as you move away from it. All metals are basically, everything is made up of really, really tiny things called atoms. So metals like iron have electrons that spin inside their atoms. Now when you bring a magnet near an object made of iron, all the spinning electrons, which are basically spinning in a whole bunch of other directions, suddenly start spinning in one direction. Now, if you can somehow get these electrons to keep spinning in the same direction, that's how you get a magnet. Isn't that really cool? Now when the magnet starts interacting with these little particles of iron here, all these different particles start lining up with the magnetic field, which is why these things behave so cool. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Champak PsyQ. My name is Niranjan. This episode was brought to you by Champak and One Network. Thank you so much for watching and as always, please subscribe.